In this quick lesson, I'm going to show you how to work with the Distribute tab from the Align Space and Distribute tools in the Design Center. Now by Distribute, I'm talking about the spreading apart of the selected objects that we're interested in over any given distance or a distance that we type in. So we draw a marquee over these objects here and we get a distribution method as our first option. So we're going to use horizontal to begin with. Then we need to distribute it over uh, a distance. So you've got the page, a distance you set in, or over the current length or the width of the objects. In other words, the distance they're currently taking up, which at this point in time is 26 odd inches, as you can see up here. So we're going to distribute these objects over this 26 inch distance. So the next thing we need to do is decide what method we're going to employ. And we've got quite a few options here. We can distribute by the spaces between the objects, as you can see in the preview on the screen. We can go from edge to edge, or we can go from centre to centre. We have also can use columns of the page, but I'll come back to that in a moment and explain that a little bit more clearly. So for now what we're interested in is, say, the spaces. And as you can see, it's evenly distributed the objects over that distance based on what the method was. And we can just simply see that preview and click on what we want to do, as we've seen there. Now we might want to distribute the objects over, say, 20 inches, for example. So we just type in that measurement, like so. And again, we just simply look at our method, and we get the preview, and we can choose which one we want. And we can see this has been spread over 20 inches, as we can see up here. And again, edge to edge, or center to center. So that's what the distribute tools do with those methods. Now, back to the page for a moment. You can also distribute over the page, which is basically, this page is 36 inches, so you can see it goes from 36 inches left edge to left edge there, or edge to edge. Here, now you can see how the objects actually go over the edge. That's because you're distributing from edge to edge, or from center to center. Now to overcome that problem, say you're doing a menu board or something and you want it to fit within the page, you check this op option here, and that actually applies the objects within the page bounds as if they were columns as you can see here. So that deals with that issue there. Of course this also works in the vertical distance or the vertical uh, axis. So you can see, I'll show you that here, we'll just uh, rotate these around and I'll just bring these a bit closer to uh, make the point. So you can select them like so. We want to go the selection over that distance and we can change it to vertical now. And when we look at these methods, when we click on these methods, you can see they automatically update and change as we've done there. So it's exactly the same for vertical as it is for horizontal. And that's how we do distribute. That's the end of this lesson.